we're going to talk about a uh, short choke from the back and we're going to get to it as a recounter from uh, Stefan defending the head and arm choke. So let's just say that I have top cross out on Stefan and I have the head and arm choke and I'm squeezing. So now I'm going to top Stefan out first with a head and arm choke just so that everybody sees what I'm doing. I have his arm, I have his head, clapping my hands together, putting my hairline onto the floor as I'm squeezing my elbows together. There's the choke. Now, Stefan's really smart. He knows how to defend this. He's going to go and lace his fingers together and he's going to put that directly underneath his knee. Now, I, I, can't, I can't finish him. I'm going to try. I'm going to really try, but I can't. So I need a follow up. Look at what I'm going to do with my hands. I'm going to cup his neck like this. I'm going to cup his neck and then I'm going to sit him up like this. Now that he's sitting up and see how my hip is down on the floor. Now I'm going to put lots of weight through my hand and now I'm going to be able to lift my hip up as I sit out, almost, almost like I'm sliding into home base. Now from here, I'm going to keep on pulling with my hand so that Stefan winds up beside me like this. And now this hand here, my free hand, it's like my fingernails are touching and I'm sliding this across. As I'm disengaging this hand, this hand engages. I grab on with this one, onto his one shoulder, digging in and I pull my elbow back. So it's a one-handed short choke. Meaning, if Stefan, can I just sit right there? A short choke is actually a variation of the rear naked. Rear naked looks like this. I'm gonna just tap on Stefan right there. Short choke, so I'm just doing it with my palms. So my palm is here, uh, directly on top of his shoulder, almost like I'm a waiter holding onto a tray. My hand becomes that tray. I put my hand on top of the tray and I pull back. But this is a one-handed short choke, meaning that my hand is just here, grabbing on to this little spinous process that makes up his shoulder blade. Clawing in like I'm a rock climber, and I pull my elbow straight back with the choke. Now, let's do this from the top for a second. I have a head and arm choke. So I have head and arm choke. Trying to go for it. See, he laces his hands together. He's really, really strong. Sitting him up, so I'm hooking with my palm. From here, I'm gonna hook on with my hand so I can lift my hip up, shoot it out. He falls beside me, not on top of me, beside me. I turn, as I turn, I place my hand on the inside, right there, and there's the choke. Now let's do that one more time at speed. So, have the head and arm, can't do it, he's really strong. Oh, yeah, he's lacing his hands together, so I cut, pull, right there, I see the choke. 